Hey guys, Crypto Dad here. Today I'm going to talk about restoring or recovering your Ethernum wallet. So let's jump in. So it can be really scary if you accidentally uninstall or uh, something goes wrong with your Ethernum wallet or you know your computer crashes, uh, all kinds of different things. So I'm going to show you a few ways that you can recover your Ethernum wallet and uh, your blockchain data. So the first thing I want to talk about is where exactly the Ethernum wallet stores the data for uh, the blockchain and your wallet itself. Okay, so uh, this is the Ethernum homepage, uh, the Ethernum project homepage and uh, this is where you would download your blockchain wallet. Uh, I went through this in a previous video. I'll give a link to it. It's here. Okay, so it's usually down here where you download the different uh, wallets uh, and versions of Ethernum uh, based on your platform and you can check it with the SHA-256. So I'm assuming that you've done all this and had it installed at some point and maybe lost it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is check to see if uh, your Ethernum data is still there. Let's say you've accidentally uninstalled Ethereum or uh, restored your computer from some unstable state. So let's go to our file manager and we're going to open it up and what we're looking for is a certain folder and if we go to your C drive and we go to users, uh, my user just happens to be uh, Rex K9. Okay, and this is what you're gonna see if you check your local disk. Uh, and this is assuming that you have a fairly standard installation of Windows 10. We're looking for a folder called app data, but it's not showing up here. Okay, so uh, what do we need to do? We need to check our view settings so that we'll have access to this data. So if we go over here to the View tab, we click there. We want to go over here to Options. Okay, and we click Options, and we get this Folder Options window. This Folder Option window has been around a while in uh, Windows. Uh, it's in been Windows 7, um, but you get to it in different ways. So uh, this View tab over here is where uh, we can show different settings for uh, how files are viewed in Windows so this is the one here, hidden files and folders. So as you can see, the default here is don't show hidden files and folders or drives. So we want to hit this radio button and switch it and click apply and OK to get rid of the window. Now as you can see, there's this uh, sort of dim looking folder here, app data. And this file is normally hidden uh, with the default settings. So now that we can see it, let's double click and we want to go to roaming. We open that up and as you can see over here we have Electrum and we can, uh, I'm sorry, Ethereum which is the one we're interested in. Double click that and as you can see there's a geth folder and a key store. We go inside here and there should be a key store folder. Now this might be empty in your case, don't panic. And then this other folder here, geth, uh, as you can see, if I hover over it, you can see it's 22.6 gigabytes. That's pretty good. So uh, let's go to properties. Okay, so in properties we can see the size of the geth folder. Now the geth folder is where all of the blockchain data is stored. So if you've got a geth folder and uh, it's uh, you know, 10 or 20 gigabytes, then there's a lot of the blockchain data that needs to be synchronized to your computer that's already in that folder, okay? So we can run a reinstallation. Now, uh, I'll just go ahead and do that. I have the uh, installer in uh, my software folder over here. Uh, the Ethereum Wallet Installer EXE, which I downloaded and uh, verified in a previous video. So let's run that. We'll agree. We'll let it install in the default location. And close. OK. 
Okay. So uh, now that we have this shortcut to the Ethereum wallet, we can uh, pin it to our taskbar by right clicking, choose pin to taskbar. That leaves a copy of this guy down here on the taskbar to make things convenient for you. I believe it would probably be in your Windows menu as well. Yeah, here we go, Ethereum wallet. You can see, you can access it down here as well. You could also right click here and uh, pin to your start so that you've got a copy of it from your start window as well. Either way, whichever's most comfortable for you. I like to launch things from my taskbar. Okay, uh, you'll see here that I have this uh, launch application, and the reason why I have that so quickly is because of that geth folder that was already in uh, the app data folder on my computer. As you can see, it's connecting. Let's go ahead and launch it up. Okay, so now it looks like we have a blank one there and uh, we've got the main account uh, of Ether. There's no Ether in this account. And as you can see up here at the top, we've got zero peers. It's still looking for a connection. And uh, 13 days since the last block. So uh, that was when uh, I uninstalled the Ethereum wallet. And uh, you'll see that I have quite a bit of data already because of that geth folder. Now the question that we've got here is uh, what happened to our ether? Let's say that you're, uh, you had some ether in this main account and it looks like it's zero now. Well, it is gonna be zero until you actually get a full sync. So I won't go through that now. It might take a while, it might happen while I'm talking, it might not. Uh, but this uh, connection here, you wanna watch this connection, just let it do its thing and uh, when this red goes away and it connects to uh, the blockchain and starts to uh, run an update, as soon as it's fully updated, you're going to see your uh, balance uh, again. So uh, it's always going to start out at zero when you reinstall and uh, it's going to look like there's nothing in there until it does a full sync and then you'll be uh, good to go. We can also do an import account and uh, you get this window where it says drop the wallet here and I'm gonna show you how that works as well. So let's suppose, uh, for argument's sake, that you manage to back up your uh, Ethereum wallet. And why don't I show you how that goes real quick. When you first start uh, backups, uh, when you, when you, uh, before you uh, uninstall, when you first installed your wallet, uh, you can go to accounts backup, hit accounts, and you'll see that that hidden folder open here, this key store folder, which has this uh, one uh, Ethernet, Ethernum address in it, that's here. And you could back this up to another drive. So let's say you've got another window over here. Let's call it uh, documents and you've created a new folder called Ethereum backup, which I may already have on here. Okay. All right. So uh, we can uh, move this uh, key store over here to a backup. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty small. The Ethernum address, which has uh, your uh, public address and inside the file are your encrypted private keys, that's a pretty small folder and it's pretty easy to back up. So let's assume that at some point in the past you did back your Ethernum wallet up. As you can see here, I have my Ethernum, Ethernum key store. Okay, and as you can see, there's two addresses here. One of them is mine. So let's do that. We've got this file here. 
we're going to go to our accounts import accounts window and we're going to drop the wallet file here so we're going to move this guy here and just drop him on here let go and lo and behold now we've got two accounts and this particular account has some ether in it and uh, it's back it looks like uh, it's still syncing but uh, because it was connected it showed the balance in the account so that's how you would restore your account now in many uh, I'm assuming that you backed it up and maybe you did maybe you didn't maybe you follow the instructions as you were running the install and it told you to back it up and you went through that process and maybe forgot and uh, you couldn't uh, you know you uninstalled Ethereum and you panicked so uh, just kind of look through your files and folders right so uh, in here on my PC I have several uh, drives and in my on my data drive was my documents alright and you may have been check have folders by uh, modified by date modified which is the late you want to go to name and check for anything you may have uh, put on here in your documents that started with ether ethernum see I've got ethereum uh, ether ethernum key store uh, there's one that's misspelled that wasn't it but uh, the ethernum keys ethereum key store folder was where I had some files that were uh, the wallet files and then as you can see I have a backup drive over here as well and you may check your backup drives your external drives your flash drives you may have dropped an ethereum key store folder somewhere and those are the files that you can drop onto that uh, backup so you know you've got this accounts import accounts this window right here is where you would just drop that file and it's a pretty simple thing so I hope this has helped some of you if you may have misplaced backed up and then forgot or maybe uh, poked around in your hard drive and found this file you have to just do a simple reinstall of the Ethereum wallet and do your account recover and drop the file onto this little square here and it's just going to show right back up in your wallet so hopefully uh, you guys that panicked and may have lost some money you got it back and I'm rooting for you out there if you didn't back it up and you d deleted all this data you're out of luck the same thing happened to me before I was installing and reinstalling and unfortunately for me I thought it, I had it backed up somewhere and I didn't and after I deleted the Ethernum and uh, Geth folders uh, my uh, address was gone and there's no way to get it back so I hope you like this video um, I hope this helped you and if you like this video give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want more thanks again